What's up everybody, C Pounds of Carring here and today is Tune In Tuesday. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Tune In Tuesday. The first subject we're going to be talking about is budget. Now with budget, you can do a lot or less for a lot. Meaning, if you're looking to get something along the lines of downpipes, which I see a lot of people talk about but don't want to cough up the money, you can actually get these Concepts Z Performance stainless steel downpipes for about $395, $495 that is on the market right now. I'll also put the link in the description so if you guys want to take a look at them, you can. Feel free to let me know if you have those downpipes, what you think of them. Make sure you comment below in the comment section. I would love to hear what everybody thinks of their product. I've certainly dealt with Concepts Z in the past and I love their customer service. I got my HKS blow off valves from through them and I love the service that I got from them. Now, that being said, I'm gonna showcase some of the features on the item. Now, they have the lower and the upper. I believe they also have the resonated, but don't quote me on that. I'll also include all the links to all the downpipes that they have available on their website below as well. And also to downpipes that are available in the market through AMS, Fast Intentions, etc., etc. And a couple more that are gonna be coming out that I can't really mention yet. All right, guys, the second subject of the day is VR Performance Starter Pack. Now, a lot of questions that I do get at work is what should be my first mod? A lot of people believe it's the Capac exhaust system. A lot of people believe it's the intakes. A lot of people believe it's the tune. In my personal opinion, it's the heat exchanger. You always want to make sure you're keeping your vehicle cool so you don't run into a lot of issues down the line. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean that you can't get the intakes cap back, downpipes, etc. But also doing that, you gotta keep in mind that you always wanna make sure down the line somewhere you get a tune, which we'll bring up in the next episode as far as what kind of tunes that are available out there and what you can get. Now, Alpha Performance does offer uh, some great packages out there as far as what kind of uh, tunes you can get or what kind of starter packs you can get as far as the RA500, RA600, etc etc which I'll also link below in the description so you guys can take a look at it now that being said you also have the option of Burger Motorsports tuning I believe they have a 450 horsepower package available I'll also link that also in the bottom of the description so you guys can take a look at it see whichever one is best for your budget now again this was based on a budget kind of a scenario for everybody so you can always get those items one by one you don't technically have to get these packages that are available out there for everybody that can snatch it up slap it on start driving the vehicle so forth and so forth with that being said the heat exchanger there is a lot of options out there from ams performance to burger motorsports and frozen boost you want to make sure you do your research and make sure you get the product that fits your best budget, I should say, since this is a video about budget. Now, keep in mind that the Frozen Boost, you may have to do some modifications to make it fit. So make sure you do your research uh, before you buy the Frozen Boost. I believe the Burger Motorsports and AMS Performance are bolt on, direct on, so you're good to go on those two products. If you're going to be making these modifications yourself, make sure you have the right tools for it. Make sure you bleed the system so you don't have any air bubbles inside the heat exchanger down the line so you don't run into any issues. Now one of the new products that I do want to talk about is the AMS fuel filter. I will show that on the screen as well so you guys can take a look at it. And I want you to give me your personal opinion what you think about all the products that I've talked about on this video today. Make sure you comment below so I know what to bring to the channel more and more down the line in the future. Now the best part about the AMS kit, it uses braided lines and AM fittings for leak-free install. The filter itself is a 6 micron filter, which it means it uh, filters products down to 6 microns in size. This is the finest size for the VR30 on the market to protect your cube VR30 motor. Now the difference between the AMS filter and other filters, the AMS filter uses a glass filter. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but it gives the user confirmed compa compatibility with fuel types from gas to ethanol and methanol at the same time. 
Now other fuel filters do use paper type of uh, filters on the inside which over time they can deteriorate and cause problems for you in the future. Now the best part about this kit is that AMS designed the housing specifically for the Q50 and Q60 VR engine so you can directly bolt it to the chassis with no issues and the lines and the fittings are going to be clean in the engine bay so when you open your engine bay it doesn't look like a transformer car out of uh, um, Transformers movie I could say. Now if you look on either end of the cross-section photo you will notice that the inlet and the outlets are both radiused at the ends on tapered at a certain angle for the best flow possible. Now I do also want to thank Ty for getting this information over to me so I can get it out to you guys over at AMS Performance. Um, to put it simply they invested a lot of time and engineering into it so they can get the best product for, out there for us as, the, as far as the VR motor goes and I do want to say that these guys do spend a lot of time making sure they bring the best products out into the market. I mean take a look at what they've done in the GTR platform. To put it simply AMS did spend a lot of time making this product for the VR community. Uh, they could have easily taken the short route out and just throw the product out into market and then everybody would have problems and complain about it in the future but at least they take their time to make sure that everything's perfect before they can release the product so if you have any questions about the AMS uh, fuel filter I'll also hopefully in the future once it's out I'll have it on the channel to be able to showcase it to you guys and uh, answer any questions I can as far as the AMS fuel filter goes. All right, thank you guys for tuning in on this episode. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. In the near future, I'm gonna try to be more selective and maybe extend the videos a little bit more so I can provide more information. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you wanna keep it short and simple and sweet with the links in the descriptions and uh, call it a day that way. Or if you'd like to be more descriptive as far as the products go, I can do that as well. I also wanted to mention that next week we're going to have uh, Cars and Chatter with Caesar, Caesar Q60. I'll also link his Instagram tag below in the description so you guys can take a look at it. And again, if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop uh, your comments in the comment section or you can always DM me and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm more than happy to take any suggestions that are out there.